I believe that in Franciscan life, we experience a great deal of compatibility with immigrant people. Francis calls us to be pilgrim and stranger, and in a sense, we travel with, we accompany, we care for immigrant people. We care for them because they flee oppression. We care for them because they want a better life for themselves and family. We care for them because they want to achieve a certain sense of human dignity. Francis invites us to consider our life a journey, a journey that Francis took, and a journey Francis took and he experienced two very important gifts in his life. Those gifts were the leper and the company of brothers. We live our dedicated and professed life in the company of our brothers and sisters, and we strive to extend that community to those whose society at best wants to treat at arm's length and are commonly despised or perceived as a drag on society or even a threat. One of the delights I've experienced in the Hispanic community is the sense of convivencia, participating in convivencia. And that is a, a gathering, a, a celebration, a moment when everybody matters and that each one's participation is respected. I like to think of it as a Franciscan moment. Convivencia, it is simply an example of the richness of culture and we are enriched by the culture of others from various lands. That convivencia, that sense of convivencia, awakens a Franciscan instinct that stimulates us to care for our brothers and sisters. At the present time, our policy in immigration tries to exclude. It tries to marginalize. It is heavy on enforcement. Communities experience many raids, uh, people are arrested, uh, families are broken, uh, human rights are, are violated. There is no sense of due process, uh, due process and there's an atmosphere of fear and oppression. A way to remedy that is to fix our immigration system, a system that is broken, a system that really does no good for our country and for the immigrant people, a system that needs comprehensive immigration reform. Franciscan Action Network is interested in promoting a policy for immigration that is comprehensive and just, compassionate, and promotes the common good. In being comprehensive and just, we would look for immigration to be high on the list of national priorities. In being comprehensive and just, we would look for immigration to balance the respect for borders with the good that immigrants can do and the gifts that they bring. Penalties should be reasonable, perhaps a reasonable fine, a sufficient time for departure and re-entry. Oftentimes, there's a rush to deportation. Opportunities for naturalization should be plentiful and a path for citizenship to be encouraged. And that deportation would occur only after due process and a felony conviction. A comprehensive immigration policy would be a well-ordered system of federal authority and not a lot of local interference or local interaction. Federal authority would determine probable cause, arrest, and detention. An immigration policy that is compassionate promotes human rights, promotes policies that reunify the family, the families don't have to wait a long time for visas. Immigrants should benefit from basic public services, health and education. That they should feel free to worship where they wish. A comprehensive immigration system promotes the common good. That there is no massive deportation. 
There is just compensation and human working conditions on the job. Employers would be expected to comply with lawful tax and benefits. A system of admitting workers would be regulated by taking into consideration the number of jobs that are currently held by immigrants. The Franciscan approach promotes community, the dignity and contribution of each person. Immigrants are indeed our brothers and sisters, and together we work to make immigration reform a reality as a way of carrying out a Franciscan vision.